It was an all or nothing gamble for bluefin tuna that paid off big on Mike's Fishhead Chronicles. This is not your average trip, this is a tuna trip. This is an all or nothing deal. We're gonna be going after monster bluefin tuna. They've just arrived off the coast, they've been out there a couple weeks. Today we're heading out 75 miles. So we're gonna introduce you to the crew we've assembled for this trip. On the back of the boat, this is a familiar character. Mark, once again, he put his hat in the ringer for this trip. Greg, smiling ear to ear. This is Greg's life dream. Greg told me in confidence, and now it's not confident anymore. Greg told me that this is a bucket list deal for him, and if this happens, then he can die. Curtis, our captain here, shaking his head. He's got his fingers crossed that Greg doesn't just drop dead on our deck. Got our son, Ben. Gee, we prayed to the tuna gods last night. Everybody is jacked up on this thing. We're ready to head out. You got me that you're gonna have to listen to as I give you periodic updates. We've got a couple miles on this thing to run. If anything exciting or good comes up, we'll pass it on to you. Wish us luck, pray for us, and hope we land something big on this deck by the end of the day. out he's looking around seeing if he can see some things on the surface pretty exciting you can kind of feel the buzz on the boat since we're out here I mean we're gonna be out here till dark but there's definitely an energy out here so there's a 20 30 minute process you need a veteran guy that knows what he's doing just to set this thing up which is why Curtis is on the boat because the rest of us are all just gonna sit here and watch him for about 20 or 30 minutes until he rigs this thing. Now we're going through the process of adjusting the drag. This is a key thing. If that drag's not adjusted properly, that fish can be lost. So these all these little calculations that are going on right now to ensure that when we hook the fish, we keep the fish. And here goes the balloon portion of this thing. This is just the most fascinating thing to watch. It's just who, who would think you could catch fish doing all this crazy stuff? This is the critical part of this. This is going to make this bait float on the surface, which is what's going to make these bluefin tuna hit this bait. Basically what's happening is this balloon is put in a harness and locked into place and then taped in. So now that the balloon and the kite are one, it's being connected to a special rod that's going to run this out. Give us a gander at that thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> it looks like those model airplanes that hung from your ceiling when you were a kid. <laughs> We've got an assembled kite at this part of the process. We've got a fish that simulates flight right here that Curtis just put together. Now he's let the drag out. He's got this specialized reel to send our kite out. It's gonna keep this fish on the surface and make it look like it's flying. So we've got a small black balloon tied up. This is our indicator balloon. If the fish <laughs> takes that bait and he runs with that bait, if it's not just a nibble, that balloon will head down. We're in phase two now with Curtis has got his gyroscopic binoculars and we're searching for any sign of these guys on the surface, any blow ups. Yes, we got a fish, on! fish Woo! on! First one of the day, we got a fish on. Yes! Who's on rod first? Greg, get on that rod. This is you. This is Greg. Greg's on the rod with a blue fin. What are you thinking, Greg? Huh? Damn! We got a fish on. Fish on and Greg is started. Benny's affixing the cap here. Got it. Go. It's a beast of a fish right here. Greg's getting a workout right now as we speak. Oh man, bluefin on the line. I'm gonna hold your hoodie, Greg. <laughs> I don't want you doing any tumbling. See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him up to the bow so he can fight the fish a little easier. 
get him away from the outboards. There we go, we're moving this fish up to the front of the boat now. Curtis is on it, moving it up to the bow. Greg's heading around to the other side. Got there, Greg. Greg's got him up on the bow. <laughs> this is the fight of his life. Just like I said, so when that boat now, wind, 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 wind. Stop. That way you don't burn yourself out, but use the boat. That's it. That's the strategy of fighting these fish. Because they're big and pitiless. <laughs> Greg's bright red up there. Look at that. Yeah, what are you doing? Huh? Huh? What are you doing, is this how you thought it was gonna go, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> we kind of thought we had this sucker on, but I think he's got other plans. Greg's getting pretty tired, but it's been we're about 20 minutes into this guy. Gaps at the ready. Look at this. Look at this rod pending. Oh, he's got some gas in him, man. Don't worry about me, you just turn that. That's not an empty tank on this tuna right now. As he's getting closer to the boat, he's starting to really furiously fight here. Wine, 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 wine. Oh, 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 listen to that. Now we see the color. He just made a sweep under us. Just got a view of him. There he is, look at this. Look at this guy right here. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Oh. He's got a gaff in him. Get the other gaff. It's gonna be another run. He's not giving up anytime soon. This is your life deal right here. You did it. It's a hundred pound plus bluefin tuna on the deck. Congratulations, Greg. This is our first fish on the boat today. Look at the size of that sucker. What a fantastic fish. You wanted to get a bluefin? And you got a, you got a bluefin, Greg. You got a bluefin tuna. Come on, Greg. Yep, Greg, let's see that smile. Oh yeah, he's sliding. He's moving all over the place. You gotta hold him. Gotta hold this tuna, dude. pick him up I think he's a little heavier than 100 pounds. But he's still not quite dead either. Blood all over me. Ah, oh, he's got new gas. He's bleeding all over me. <laughs> oh, look at this sucker! Yeah! 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 We didn't come back empty handed. We had a great picture. Greg on our boat had his dreams fulfilled. He caught his bluefin tuna that he's been after his whole life. So we thought he, he was going to die, but he didn't. Overall, a really fantastic day. If you like this, if you like this kind of stuff, Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, watch the show, take it easy.
Everybody's gonna be coming home with some bluefin. Greg realized a dream today on the boat, and he survived. And with the setting sun, we're gonna, I think, bid adieu, start putting everything away, getting ready for our long way back. What a wonderful day, what a wonderful end.